I was so not happy with that. The flavor was on point, don't get me wrong. Tofu crispy, the peanut sauce was wonderful, but that's all I literally had. Falling leaves, autumn breeze reminds me of when I was 17. We would walk by the frozen creek, exchanging looks and more seeds. First of all, for our appetizers, we ordered the escargot and the crispy crab cake. My husband had the crab cake. And I had the escargot. Um, I loved it. <laughs> I wasn't sure that I would actually like escargot. This was something I tried new. I've never had escargot. And it was something I wanted, um, well, to try. And each time I, I tried it, I was going to try it. I saw something else and changed my mind, right? So anyway, um, escargot uh, was really tasty. It was buttery. It was cheesy. But it was a little too buttery for my system. A little too rich. But it was delicious. And my husband had the crispy crab cake, which was also he said pretty delicious it was a lot better than the crab cake we had recently on um, carnival all right and so moving on to our entrees my husband ordered the new york strip i had the vegan herb crusted portobello mushroom with couscous now It wasn't good at all to me. Um, every what it is, it was well as you can see, it's like mounded with spinach, and it was cooked in a marinara sauce. They were just fighting with each other on the plate. I think if you're going to tell me it's a vegan herb crusted portobello mushroom, then doggone it. I don't want it topped with spinach and like half a pound because we all know to get that much spinach on a portobello cap it was twice as much spinach that was made to go on top and for dessert that night um my husband had as usual the ice cream <laughs> he had his ice cream and for me i believe i had ordered the royal cheesecake but i was uh, yeah no i didn't I didn't order the royal cheesecake. <laughs> I ordered the artisan cheese plate, which I love to order all the time. Carnival, like that's my thing. If it's not a chocolate milk and cake, but I did order the artisan cheese plate. It was good. There is a fig paste that's there that was pretty yummy. I was just put off by the the bread choice that they used um, for that. I didn't really like it, but other than that, it was a pretty tasty meal. Um, I would. I would definitely say that in this case, um, they're pretty comparable. Like what we usually order vegetarian meals are a bit, it, it seems like it's a bit better on this ship. So, so moving on to our formal night dinner, <sighs> the formal night dinner menu was lackluster i'm I'm just gonna tell y'all that it was lackluster like but like there was nothing spectacular about the menu there was no change in the menu it just felt it felt the same as any other night's menu right um so what my husband ordered was the enchiladas which again i understand it was mexican night mexican food night because we're going to mexico and they always have a theme night but come on y'all enchiladas that's bland that's boring that's not nothing so what i saw was the chili crusted crispy tofu tacos now i'm like hey this is gonna be awesome i gotta it's you know i have a mexican food option that's vegetarian this gonna be bomb this gonna be good it, look what i got y'all look what they said it was versus what i got no it was not i was so not happy with that the flavor was on point don't get me wrong tofu crispy the peanut sauce was wonderful but that's all I literally had was four pieces of tofu and four tortilla chips. I tried to eat the flour bowl they was in. That was horrible. So I said, okay, we're not doing that. 
For a dessert, my husband had the warm apple cobbler and ice cream, which is his favorite thing. I had the vegan toffee cheesecake. No, it was without the tart, yes. And you could find it without the tart at the Windjammer, which I found out several hours later, which I wasn't happy about, but it's nice to know I could have found it without the tart. It was much better without the tart. Okay, so basically the formal night dinner, I wouldn't dress up for this dinner. Like for Carnival's formal night dinner, yes, because there's a change of stuff you can't get every day from the formal night dinner on Carnival. But this one just was lackluster. It wasn't anything I needed to dress up for. And quite honestly, when I went down to the Windjammer just not that, that long ago to go get some food, just to have, let me tell y'all, these right here, look at this, this, look at this, look at this. This is a beef chimichanga. Look at look at that, y'all. Look at that. Tell me you don't want that. Tell me you don't want that. That wasn't even an option. Y'all, it wasn't even an option for dinner. Then they had like these loaded baked potatoes, which could have been done a little bit better, but still, better option, you know? So... I say, Royal, well, y'all got to step up y'all game with y'all uh, formal night. What, why am I dressing formal if I get stuff I could have got on the first night? It's just bland and sorry. So, but the not the food. The food was good for the most part. The menu is bland. All right. Well, that's my opinion. Um, be sure to look out for our video on Carnival versus Royal. Formal night batter. Boom, boom. Okay, that was wrong. 